All right, okay. So today we are going to talk about the next chapter. Now, obviously, it's basically the chapter number is different uh, according to the syllabus for IGCSC and for the D syllabus. The chapter is basically time. You will get to see some past paper questions as well. And today, by the end of this class, we will practice through those questions. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. It's basically time. Now, let's talk about some basics about time. We know that one hour has 60 minutes and then one minute has 60 seconds. And then if I talk about one hour, so one hour has 60 multiplied by 60 seconds. That would be 3600 seconds. Okay. So this is just some basic stuff that we need to understand in order to convert time from one unit to the other. Okay. For example, let's say You've been asked to convert 5.5 hours to hours and minutes, okay? So it's 5.5. So we clearly know that this 5.5 has five hours. It has five hours and I can convert this 0.5 hour to minutes. Now, how, how do I do that? I know that one hour has 60 minutes. So, since one hour has 60 minutes, 0.5 hours would have X minutes and we know how to solve such questions. How do we sort, solve such questions? We do so by cross multiplication. So we will do x multiplied by 1 and 60 multiplied by 0.5 and this is going to give you 30. So 5 hours and 30 minutes. Okay. Some of you would be comfortable about this discussion about time. But some of the students, they, you know, find such conversions a bit technical. So it's fine. Okay. All right. So this was just a basic idea about converting time to different units. Let's talk about another example, just so we understand the idea. It's question number two. Now let's say you have 3.25 hours. And again, you have been asked to Write it down as hours and minutes. So it's 3.25. In this 3.25, 3 is there directly. So I have 3 hours and this 0.25 hour can be converted to minutes. How? This is going to be the idea. I am going to multiply this number every time with 60 to get the number of minutes in this much hour. So 0 0.25 would be multiplied with 60 and you can directly do it. This would give you 15 minutes. Okay, so three hours and 15 minutes. Okay. All right, let's talk about one more example and then I'll ask you guys to do it. Let's see if you were able to understand something out of it or not. Okay. Question three is 7.75 hours. Okay. 7.75 hours. Again, two hours and minutes. So out of the 
out of the 7.75 hours, I can write down seven hours directly. And for this 0.75, what I can do is, I can just do 0.75 multiplied by 60, and the answer is going to be 45 minutes, okay? 45 minutes, so it would be seven hours and 45 minutes, okay? One quick practice question for you guys. Let's see if you were able to understand this or not. Okay. Please convert 8.6 hours to hours and minutes, okay? This is your question. Take two minutes and then tell me the answer. Yes, Umayza, you can definitely uh, do the ratio stuff. This is what I did for the first one. Just one second, students. Let me just explain this. This is how exactly I explained for the, quest for the first question, but the examiner would not give you marks for the ratio stuff. He would only give you mark for the correct answer. These questions come for a mark or two, right? So you can directly just multiply it by 60 or use this ratio method. Both would be correct, okay? All right, here's the question. Very good, Taha, excellent. Your answer is correct. Because the question says you need to convert this time to hours and minutes, Umayza. The question did not say that you have been asked to convert this to minutes. It says you need to convert 7.75 hours to hours and minutes, okay? This is what the statement is. Yes, if the question was to convert this entire number to minutes, you would have multiplied seven as well, but it's not the case, okay? Yes. Very good, Noshavan, Moise, excellent. I want all of you to answer. If you're giving me a wrong answer, that's completely fine. Well done, Urva. I just want participation and a wrong answer does not matter. Only participation matters, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, Omaiza. Yes, take your time and then do it. Take another minute, those who were not able to do it, and I'll stay quiet and now think about it. Ma'am, ma where do hmm? we send you the message? Uh, you can send me the message through the account I am speaking. Can you see? Like I have joined through two accounts. You'll see one with uh, a muted mic and one with an unmuted mic. So just send me uh, on that account. Right? Mom, I send you messages. One you see Let me see. Let me check. Once again, uh, uh, Ariba, is that you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, one second. I'll message you and then you can reply me directly. Okay, now you can reply to my message. Okay, I've sent you a message. Ma'am, I, I have sent you a message yeah, on but, that but, same account. Yeah, but I did not get it, okay? So just send it to me again. Okay, uh, Umayza, your answer is correct. Don't worry, your answer is correct. Like it is eight hours, but then second part is not right. Let's talk about it. Don't worry, don't worry. One second, okay. Let's look into this example. Let's look into this example. Okay, so I got same answers from two accounts. Okay, let's see why exactly this is happening. It's fine. I'll tell you one second. Uh, okay. All right, okay. Let's talk about it. Ma'am, someone is in the meeting. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right, okay. 
Acha, this was the question. It's fine if you were not able to get the correct answer. It's completely fine. It says 8.6 hours. Now, as per my understanding, some students are saying that why are we not converting this to minutes and then finding the number of hours or why are we not giving the final answer in minutes? So I'll uh, answer this. The question says, you need to convert 8.6 hours to hours and minutes. Now, this statement means that out of this 8.6 hours, just take out good number of hours, complete number of hours, that is 8. And then the remaining hour, that is 0.6 hour, just convert that 0.6 hour to minute. Now, the issue is that certainly you can first convert 8.6 hours to minutes and then take out hours from it but that is not the right approach we will talk about those questions as well but for such questions when you already have the number of hours clearly mentioned there's no point in converting this entire thing to minutes first and then answering it yes now your answer is correct kabir very good okay so out of this 8.6 I know that I have good eight complete hours and for the remaining 0.6 hour, I need to convert it to minutes. So one hour has 60 minutes. So 0.6 hours would have 0.6 multiplied by 60 and this would give you 36. So it would be eight hours and 36 minutes. So Maiza, your answer was correct. I think there was just a multiplication issue, but otherwise your answer was correct. Your approach was correct, okay? And what about the new students? Are you guys understanding all of this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Um, here, uh, Umayza, I'm explaining it again. Don't worry. The question was about converting 8.6 hours to hours and minutes. Forget about every other thing that you have been studying. Okay. I know I agree. We have other type of questions as well. But here, the question just says, convert this decimal hour two hours and minutes. So out of this 8.6, you will just pick up eight complete hours. And for that 0.6 hour, you will convert that incomplete hour to minutes. So 0.6 is just a decimal number. So just do 0.6 multiplied by 60. You can use the ratio method. For that, how would you do? One hour has 60 minutes. So 0.6 hours would have x minutes and again you would have multiplied and this would have given you the same thing x was equal to 60 multiplied by 0.6 just like this one then this would be 36 so eight complete hours and for this 0.6 i got 36 minutes okay this is going to be the story are you clear with it now yes ma'am okay all right yes ma'am okay very good perfect Achha. yes uh, all right, okay. I was just asking one student, not all of you. I was explaining it for a student. Okay. Um, then we have another type of question. This is question number five. Where you need to convert nine whole one by three hours to again hours and minutes so the idea is again the same out of this nine whole one by three now you have two methods either you can just convert it to decimal numbers but that would be more complicated better approach is that we have nine whole one by three so it would be nine point something something okay so out of this nine whole one by three hours i can say that I have nine hours and for the minutes part, again, the idea is exactly the same. I'll do one by three multiplied by 60 and I would get 20. So it would be nine hours and 20 minutes. Yes, yeah, so minus 0 0.333, that would be a wrong approach. This would make your question more complicated. So just know for mixed numbers, again, you can give the answer in the same way. This part would basically become the uh, complete number of hours. And for this incomplete number of hours, just multiply this to 60 to find the number of minutes. And this would be the answer. Okay. 
All right. Now, this was basically something and the examiner would just give you a one mark question for this, not more than that, where he'll ask you to convert time from hours to minutes and, you know, stuff like that. We'll talk about more questions once we talk about the past paper questions. But now we need to talk about the more important stuff. The more important stuff is basically the understanding about the 12 hour clock and the 24 hour clock. Now I'm pretty sure all of you are basically taking the class on your phone or laptop or tablet, whatever it is. Now, when we are setting alarm or when we are setting the time, we get an option that if you need a 12 hour clock or if you need a 24 hour clock. Now, what is the difference? In 12 hour clock, we get to see 1 a.m. that is one o'clock in the night, then 2 a.m. that's two o'clock in the night, then 2 p.m. that is two o'clock in the afternoon, um, then if I talk about the 24 hour clock, it is basically uh, something of this type you get to see 2300. This is basically 11 o'clock. We get to see 1300. This is one o'clock. This is basically the idea about the difference in 12 and 24 hour clock. Okay, so let me write down all the timings just so we get clear about it. Okay, always remember the 12 hour clock is basically with a.m. or p.m. But only then you would get to know if it's 1 a.m. in the night or if it's 1 a.m. in the afternoon, okay? So, if it's 12 a.m. on the 12 hour clock, it would be 0, 0, 0, 0 on the 24 hour clock, okay? Then if it is 1, a.m. on the 12 hour clock, it would be 0, 0100 0, 0 on the 24 hour clock. Then if it is 3 a.m. on the 12 hour clock, it would be 0, 0300. 0, 0. For now, things look similar, but you will get to see the difference. If it is 6 a.m., it would be 0, 0600. 0, 0. If it is 11 a.m., one second, let me write it down with a, with a dot only. Eleven AM is basically eleven zero zero and twelve PM that is twelve o'clock in the afternoon. That is basically 1200. 0, 0. And now you will see the difference. Now, if I write down 1 p.m., now 1 p.m. is basically 1 o'clock in the afternoon. But if I write down 0100 0, 0 again, yes, very good. Okay. So that would basically be 1 in the night. So for this, we write down 1300. 0, 0. And then if it is 3 p.m., it would basically be 15.00. Zero, zero. And then if it is 6 p.m., can anyone tell me what would be the thing here? Uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, I 18, think it would be 14. 18. 18. 18, sorry. Very good. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Obviously, it's fine. Okay, very good. One second. Let me just admit another student. Okay. All right. So... This is basically the idea. So you need to understand how to read it. Okay, now if I ask some random questions that what would be 8 p.m. in the 24 hour clock. So the best way of doing it is to understand that for all the a.m. numbers, like for 12 a.m. it is 00, zero but for 1 a.m. it is 1, for 3 a.m. it is 3, for 6 a.m. it is 6, for 11 a.m. it is 11, and then for 12 p.m. it's 12. Like these, uh, 12 and 12 is basically an exception, okay? But if I talk about this, 
from 1 pm to the 24 hour clock you need to add 12 from 3 pm to the 24 hour clock i'll add 12 similarly 6 plus what is giving me 18 6 plus 12 is giving me 18 and now i know that if I'm interested in seeing what exactly is 8 p.m. on the 24 hour clock, so I'll do plus 12 and this would give me 20, 0, 0. So this is basically an understanding about the 12 hour and 24 hour clock. Any difficulties with this? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. No. All right. Okay. Very good. Well done. Excellent. Okay. Let's do two quick uh, examples for this. Example number one says, you have 24 hour, or let's say, let me just write it down directly. You have 0730. This is basically the 24 hour clock. You need to convert it to 12 hour clock. So what would be this? What would be the thing? 7.30 a.m. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Very well done. It would be 7.30 a.m. And let's say you have 7.50 p.m. What would be the thing in 24-hour uh, clock for this one? 19.50. Very good. Okay. Because it's p.m. And we will add 12 to the 7. This would become 19. And 50 would come as it is. So with the 24 hour clock, no need to write down AM, PM. But with the 12 hour clock, obviously we need to write down AM, PM to distinguish. Okay. All right. So this was basically a concept. Any confusions with this? Please tell me right now. No, All the students. No. Ariba. Um, and one second. Musa, Rabia, Urva, anything? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Umayza, which example exactly are you talking about? Question three. This one? Is it okay? Okay, perfect. Okay. All right, let's talk about another concept that is basically about addition of time. Now imagine that we have a flight schedule. The departure time is 0745. The flight duration is three hours and 10 minutes. What is going to be the arrival time? Okay. So this is what we need to understand. This obviously is the 24 hour clock. This is basically the duration. So a flight departed at 7.45, that is 7.45 a.m. in the morning, obviously. And the duration was 3 hours and 10 minutes. So how do we add time? It's 0, 7, 4, 5. So I'll add 3 here. I'll add 10 there. And this would give me 55. And this would be 10. So it would be 10, 55. Okay, this is again the answer in the 24 hour clock. Okay. Another question. The departure time is 18.50. The duration is three hours and 40 minutes, what is going to be the arrival time? Okay, so it's 
eighteen fifty, and then it's three forty. Let's add the minutes. When I'll add the minutes, this would give me ninety, and when I will add the hours, this would give me. 21 but i can't say 21 90 no this would make no sense we don't have 90 as minutes okay 90 minutes mean that i have a good number of hours over there so i need to convert the minutes to hours first so i will take out 60 minutes from 90 and i will add one to the hour so this is going to give me what i took 60 out of 90 just so i could add one in the hours this would be 22 and this would be 30. So the answer is going to be 2230. One second, I am going to look at your comments now. Okay. Um, yes, very good, Amiza. It was correct. Good, Mois. Hard, very good. Okay. Well done. Okay. Any difficulties with this? No, ma'am. Okay, then one question for you guys. Please do it quickly. One second. Okay. Again. It's question three. The... Departure time is 22.40. The duration is 4 hours and 30 minutes. What would be the ending time? Now, this, this is not very straightforward. Please think about it properly first and then give me your answer. Think about it. Okay? This basically says that it's 10.40 p.m. in the night. And then if you will travel for these many hours, it would basically a different story now. So think about it, take a minute, and then write down your answer. And just write down your answer at once. Don't you know type one letter and then another letter. Just write down one complete answer at once. Very good, Ariba, excellent. Very good, Noshavan, that's also correct. But with this, you guys need to uh, specify that it would be next day. Okay, well done, Umaiza. It's correct. Very good. Well done, Taha. Excellent. So this means that you guys are good with the idea. If it says 22.40 and 3 hours 30 minutes, I got so many answers. Now I'm directly going to write it down. All the answers are correct. So I'll do 22, 4, 0, 4, and 3, 0. This would give me 70 and this is going to give me 26. Now the issue is with the 71st, first, first of all, I am going to subtract the 60 and add one to the hours. This would give me 27 and 10. Now 27, 10 makes no sense. It means that this is basically about the next day. So I am going to subtract it now, okay? It's 310. Now, most of you were able to do it directly, like by thinking about it logically. That's completely fine. You'll get to see that such questions would basically be for a mark or two. So if you are able to write it down directly for a one mark question, that's good. But if it's a two mark question, you need to show a little bit working just so the examiner can give you that mark. Okay. So yeah, that is the idea. So since this was... A weird situation, I got 27 here. So in order to get the correct answer, we subtract 24 and this gave me 310. Now, all of you knew that this would be the answer. It would be 310 a.m. in the next day. But why was this the answer? This is why it was the answer. So I added 430 and it gave me this. I subtracted 60 minutes and this was the final answer. And this was not correct because I cannot have more than 24 hours. If it's 27, it means that they have added three hours from the next day. So I just subtracted 24 and this gave me 310. So 310 is basically 310 a.m. Or you can directly write down 310 because it was given in the 
24 hour clock okay all right so i think this part is good now let's talk about the past paper questions